Okay, so what is depreciation? Well, there are a couple of different types of depreciation in real estate that we have to be familiar with. The first one is the type of depreciation that we uh, use to, for the calculation of the cost approach to appraisal. That's not what we're gonna discuss here in this video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about depreciation in a tax, uh, for tax purposes. So that is the intent of today's video. Now, for income tax purposes, real estate is depreciated on a straight line basis. That's a common term that we're gonna have to know as a real estate professional, a straight line basis. That just simply means to depreciate or something is gonna depreciate over a certain number of years. So the IRS has, has indicated, or the IRS set a rule that says residential property that's being used as investment property, and that's the key, residential property being used as investment property is gonna de be depreciated over a 27 and a half year period. Commercial or industrial property is gonna be depreciated over a 39 year period. So that's where the calculations come in that we have to know. So let's look at a practice exam question that you might have on your exam that is going to uh, ask for you to figure out the depreciation. So it says a 12 unit apartment community sold for $500,000. The purchaser paid $25,000 in closing cost, or sometimes called acquisition cost. The land represents 25% of the total value. How much depreciation can be taken each year for tax purposes? So there's a lot of things within that test question that we have to be able to use for our calculation. So first of all, the $500,000 represents the total valuation uh, that we're going to use for our calculation. Remember, the purchaser paid $25,000 in closing cost or acquisition cost, which we're going to add into that half million dollars. But it's important to remember when calculating these. The land itself, the raw land that the improvement set on, we do not depreciate. All right, so we're only depreciating what we call the, the building or improvement value. So the land represents 25% of the total value, so we're gonna have to figure that out. So the, the, the test question wants to know how much depreciation can be taken each year for tax purposes. So let's take a look at how we calculate that. So there are three steps to this. The first step is, and remember, we cannot calculate or we cannot depreciate land value. So the first thing we have to do is get our basis. So the first thing we're going to do is add that value or that purchase price of five hundred thousand to the twenty-five thousand dollars in closing cost or acquisition cost, and that gives us a total of five hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. That's step one. Now, step two, we take that $525,000 and we multiply it by 75%. Now, remember, as I said, land cannot be depreciated. So if 25% is the land value of the total, we have to minus out that 25%. We cannot take depreciation on it. So the easiest thing to do is is to take the 525,000 and multiply it by 75%, which represents the building percentage or the, the improvement percentage. When we do the calculations, we come up with $393,750. That is our depreciation basis. Step three, we take that, that basis, that 393,750, and we divide it by 27.5, now that 27.5 is that straight line depreciation of 27 and a half years that the IRS says that we use for residential property. Because remember, apartment communities are uh, considered residential in nature. So when we do the division, you're gonna, the, the answer to the question, how much depreciation can be taken each year for tax purposes, the answer is $14,318.18. That is the annual depreciation. So that means that investor for the next 27 and a half years is gonna be able to take $14,318.18 and apply that towards their, their uh, income taxes. 
All right, now I wanna go one step further because occasionally the test question may be phrased like this. And I have it on your screen, the last sentence. It'll give you, I've used the same scenario, but it says how much depreciation would the investor realize over the first five years for tax purposes? So the previous uh, way we calculated it was real simple. We're just gonna find out what each individual year, what's the, what's the depreciation for each individual year. Here, they wanna know the first five years. So we actually do step one through three, just like normal, but we have to add a step onto it. And what we do is we take that annual depreciation, that $14,318.18, and we simply multiply it by five years. And so when we do the multiplication, we take $14,318.18, we multiply it by five, which represents the five years that the test question is asking for. And that gives us a total of $71,590.90. That would be the answer to this test question. Okay, if you're going to continue studying real estate math, check out this video right here. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Click the little circle to my left. And share this with somebody that you know might be uh, studying for the real estate exam. I would appreciate it. Comments and questions down below. That's all I got, folks. I'll see you in the next video.